On the road to a driverless future, there have been a few bumps along the way. No damage done here. It was human error, not the car's fault. When activated, a fully autonomous car sees what we can't, like a cyclist from nowhere. And the car all by itself hit the brakes. It looks out, it sees this thing happening in front of it, and it knows that's not normal. These are all things that are going to save lives and uh, reduce serious injuries. South Australia has already approved testing on its roads, but before self-driving cars are let loose in New South Wales, they need to impress this road safety committee. Its report is due in November. The legislation doesn't exist to allow automated vehicles to drive on the roads. Driving is a deadly business. Each year, 1.2 million die in car accidents worldwide. Australia's annual road safety bill is $27 billion. It's estimated self-driving cars will cut that by 90%. And with fewer accidents, insurance premiums will all but disappear. Right now, this car is avoiding rear-enders on its own. But what if something goes wrong? I can't blame the technology. It's not until these cars are fully autonomous that someone like Volvo will pick up the tab for an accident. That's a huge step and that shows a great deal of faith in the vehicle. Volvo plans to unleash 100 driverless cars on China's driving public with insurers watching closely. Jurosen, 7 News.